Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome to part six of my colouring book collection. I think, let me just check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, part six. So this is um, oversized books that need to go on a specific shelf. Then I've got Deborah Muller, Camellia Angel Cova, Hannah Lynn, uh, Celine Fennec and some Creative Havens and a couple of others. So then colouring book. These ones are from, I, I get these from Tesco and I've done this one. It's just a pattern. As you can see there's a darker colour there for some reason. I, I put the pink there instead of the, the the blue so it went purple. But I don't mind. It's the only one I've done. I pick these out every now and again actually. They're really nice. Nice little books. I haven't got the newest one though. If you're wondering why yeah, the light's a bit funny because the stack is right up high. Seconds and colouring is springtime designs. Again, most of these books I've only done one in. There will be a few that I've had two done in, and that's this one, and that was just done with various glitter gel pens. But they, they, the patterns in these books, they're really nice, and, and but it's very smooth paper. So that's quite a nice pattern. You've got a boot with some flowers in it, and so on. And that's quite nice. So they're like, they're just like zen doodly pattern things. Next we've got my Deborah Muller's. First one I've got is Halloween Darlings. I've only done one in this, I will admit it. And I th oh, it might be two actually, I did this one. Um, I love this one. It's, you know, the Bride of Frankenstein type picture. Is it only this one I've done in here? I've got so many different books with so many different artists. But the, the pictures in this, I absolutely adore them. I Oh, look, I love that one. I'm definitely going to be doing that one this year, I think. And I do love, although I've used pencil on this one, I do love using markers in these books, that ghost. So this is really nice. I think there's probably a flip through this up on the channel. The next one I have is Graveyard Queens. And again, I've only done one in this one. But this is one of my favourite pictures, I think. I did this last year. Yeah, and I did this one. I absolutely love that. I've got some um, jelly roll glaze on the black little balls, little bubbles and balls. Um, it's mostly marker with some uh, glitter gel pen, as you can see. I've given her some red lines there. I've left that one like that, and I did that one a bit weird. I really like that picture and again it's a really creepy book with some great pictures that's awesome that one love that one and then I've got uh, Full Friends uh, I like this one again I've only done one I might do that one this year I like that one I mean they're just so nice I do love a bit of Deborah Muller and of course I get a lot being a member of her her Facebook group you do get a free one most weeks not every week I think but you it used to be but most weeks you do get a free page which is I've got loads of them to, to colour so that I did this one again that was done with various markers I think it was a couple of uh, my old touch five some other blends and but yeah she was just so happy and content just sitting out in the on the grass in the background you know got the dog there happy but again there's some lovely pictures in here that's a nice one Look at the dog. Yeah, I do like, I love Deborah Muller. I've got to be honest. Took me a while to get, start getting her books. We've got springtime. These are in no order, but again, really cutesy pictures. These ones are maybe a bit busier, but I like them. And I did this one. She's out in the spring rain with her bright yellow I think that was probably Black Widows looking at it, I think. So many pencils these days, you just don't know, do you? Next is Summertime Fun! Again, I did this one. I love this one. There's a girl sitting in her, like, flamingo ring. And I just thought it was really cute to do. But here's some of the others. That's a nice one. Well, they're all nice. This one, she's having a swim and the, the fish are nibbling on her toes. It's so cute. I just love her girls. Her girls are gorgeous. Look at that one. I'm going to have to do that one, I think. I really like that. Yep. 
So that one is summertime fun. A lot of these have got flip throughs if you want to have a, a proper look because I know this these videos are getting really long. I've got Christmas fun. And I did this one, Home Sweet Home. Again, various markers. I couldn't tell you which ones anymore. Probably um, Everblend. So a slightly darker skin there and a little puppy, so cute. Some gel pens. But again, this is a really, a real untangling the lights, the bane of our existence when we're putting up our Christmas lights. She's making snow angels. That's a nice one. Yeah, really like, I love Christmas. I can't wait for Christmas. It's so much fun now I've got Jennifer. It was fun before, but it's even more fun now. Well, the only problem is my brother won't be home again this year, so I'm gonna miss him. Girlfriend's colouring book. And these are really cute, girls and girls, girls with their friends. I like the way it goes on. There's some of the older girls together, so it shows that, that friendship can last forever. They're really, really sweet out there. They're two little old ladies. <laughs> I think they're gorgeous. I might do one of them, give one of them a blue rinse and one of them a pink rinse. Same there, look. Look at the bingo. I don't know which one I have. Oh, here it is. And I have done this one, Friends Forever. Sitting on the step there. The steps of their apartment building, maybe? Or I don't know, whatever it is, is behind them is blue. Some steps somewhere. And just having a mug of tea or coffee or even hot chocolate, which was my preferred beverage if I'm just sitting outside. Especially in winter. Let's get some whipped cream. I do like cream on my uh, thing. And I also have got two more to go after this one. Cupid Cuties. I mean, look at that. How could you not like that? It's just stunningly cute. And I did the girl in the bath because I thought that was really cute. She's got her bubbles, she's got her wine. Uh, Cupid is having a break. She's just chilling. Again, probably either Ohuhu or Everblend. Just lovely, these girls. I'm going to have, I mean, I, I keep saying I'm going to have to do them. And I do, but it's because of this. There's so many books. Then we've got another Christmas one. We've got. Fairy Merry Christmas. Eventually I will put all the Christmas ones together and all the Halloween ones. Again, this is cute fairies at Christmas time. They'll probably end up all together at Christmas when I pull all the books off the shelf. When I put them back, they'll all be together. At least I hope so. I like that one. The little cookie. And I did this one, the little fairy sitting on the moon with her Christmas baubles. It's really pretty. Oh, the last Deborah Muller one is a Fairy Portraits, which is one of the newer ones. You all saw this one. There is definitely a flip through of this up on the channel, and we did Pippa. I like her. But yeah, these are great because they literally are just portraits. And I think they're lovely. That's a nice one. Well, they're all nice. I can not say they're all beautiful. So you have to pick another one of those to do soon. So that's all the Deborah Muller that I've coloured in. I do need more Deborah Muller in my life. And I have got a bonus coming again. I've got another gift for that from work. So I might have to get some more Deborah Mullers at some point. So we're on to Camellia Angel Cover now. So I've got the 100 Beautiful Mandalas. I think I bought this one second hand from somebody, but it hadn't been coloured in. So it was fairly cheap. It might not have been this one. It might have been 101. One of them was anyway. So I, I tend to do these in order. So I'm just going to show you the coloured pages first. So. Uh, I probably only just, oh no, I've done a couple. So I've done that one, that was with gel pens. They're all with gel pens. And I did one in pinks and purples. Because who doesn't like a bit of pink and purple? And then I've done this one. It's great really, because I really want to colour uh, one of these books. So I really, I'm really i glad I'm showing these so I can pull them out. Because I've not been pulling out stuff that I've coloured in that I am doing this for. So that's all, but they're all like that. They're just fantastic mandalas i love doing these i just love sitting around watching telly in an evening coloring a pattern um obviously i like to do stuff that's more complicated and proper pictures and pencil stuff not proper pictures because the mandalas are proper but do you know what i mean you know what i mean oh my lamp's my lamp's gone my lamp's a bit wonky and i need to sort it out and i don't know what to do with it so i tend to lean it on the the tv <laughs> Right there. So we got 101 unique mandalas again. So this might have been the one I got second hand. I don't really remember. 
but um, I don't know that this book belongs to Paige. I think when I finish the book I'll come back and do those as the last just to finish them off completely and I've done that one and I think that is it yeah just that one again done with various alcohol markers as you can tell because it's gone through they are really nice again they're just beautiful mandalas and I, I mean some of the picture mandalas some of the patterns like that some of them have got things like that some of them oh I like that geometric type one so I know that everybody's going mad about the miniatures but I haven't got those yet they're, they're on my list as is everything but I am seriously running out of storage space so I've got to do something about it and that means I need to start reading the books on top of my bookcase so I've got somewhere to put my diaries so that will free up another shelf for colouring books and I've already got my pdfs on there but then again they can go up there as well that's a point and 50 spiral mandalas I like this book again I've only done one in it but as you can see they're all spirally ones oh no I have done more than one how many have I done in here then two maybe don't know. again I haven't done the this book belongs to page but I will before I um put it you know when I finish it uh yeah so I've done this one and this was done with uh, the glitter gel pens and I think it looks really pretty and this was just done with um, water brush markers. I think I'll go back to using the gels. Like that one. Hmm, tempting to do that one. Put uh, that there for now. I've got 50 nighttime mandalas. These are the ones with the black pages. So the back, back backgrounds. Again, I haven't done that one, I know. And I've done this one again. This has been done with glitter gel pens. Um, it's not my best work, but it's it's just fun and the colours are so bright again it's the only one I've done oh that nice that's nice but I will do some more I do like the fact this has got black background so it's really going to stand out it's going to pop whatever you use on it this is going to pop if you use bright colours I love it next is mandalas for relaxation there's 40 in this one Again, I've probably only done one. But again, these are nice simple ones. They're not too complicated. Some of them are a bit more complicated, but they're not too bad. And I've done, because this one's on the dedication and the, this one, I love this one because I was gonna do it blue, I think, but the pen ran out or I lost the pen where the black is. I was gonna do a different color or silver. I don't know, but I decided to go with black. So it's just, black marker and it looks really nice it makes it pop really pops and the same with this one again using that black just really helps it so i think i'm gonna have to use black more on them that one? i've got celtic inspired mandalas so i like anything that's celtic um inspired i love all the celtic knots like that like that, the triquetras and all that stuff and I've done this one. That is the only one I've done on that because this can be quite hard work, these ones. But again, they look so nice with the, the gel pens. So I will have to do some more on those, definitely. I do plan on colouring every single book and every single picture, some more than others because sometimes you do get pages you don't like, but with the pattern ones, I just tend to crack on with them. Uh, we've got flower mandalas. Let's, have, let's see what we've done in here again these ones at the beginning i will do right at the end they won't take long and i've done that one that's quite a dark looking one to be honest it's the only one i've done as well i think yeah oh no i have done one with pencils i think in this one i've done something very light on the next page i just like it it's very nice and i did this one and this was with pencils i don't know which pencils they were it was before i had the pastel ones um but yeah i don't know they're some kind of pastel pencil it's unusual because I normally don't use pencils in these books. I usually do them all in um, glitter pen or marker, but I'm up for doing some pencil work in them for a change. Um, I just love these books. So I've got a few more to go. Uh, Halloween, 50 Halloween mandalas. I know I've only done one in this, which is a shame because I love it. And it is this first page. Again, this was done with just markers. It wasn't done with glitter gel pen or anything like that. Though I'm sure I will be using some of that. I mean, look at these. Whew. These are so nice. Oh, the cat. Um, as you can see. These, are, these aren't really mandalas, I don't think. They're more like the miniatures, but with a mandala outlay. 
because of the picture inside, but I do, I do like them. I think they're really, that, that's more of a mandala pattern. There, look at the skeleton, he's so cool. And the tree, ooh, he's quite creepy. It's like these ones quite creepy as well. So that's that one. So I'll be colouring that one at Halloween, I'm pretty sure. I'll probably start doing Halloween ones in September, to be honest. Then I've got 50 Lotus Flower Mandalas. And again, I think I've only done one in this one, but we'll have a quick look and we'll have a quick look at what's in here. And I think, yep, this is the one I've done. This is a bit, again, it's more of a picture one with a mandala outline around it, as you can see. So I've only done the one page, because like I said, I do these sort of books in order. But they are really nice patterns to do. And like I said, I do find them... The true mandalas I find more relaxing than the picture ones, but I still like doing them. 50 wintertime mandalas. I think we've got one more after this book. I didn't realise I had so many. So 50 wintertimes. Again, I've probably only done one in this. Yeah, I've only done one in this. And it's actually not the first one. Oh, that's unusual. Um, let me find it then. Where is it? Done that one. Is there another one? Is that it? Yeah, I did one around the middle of the book. I did the Christmas tree. I don't know why, but I fancied it. So I will occasionally do that. Uh, I've probably got some Wink of Stella on the bottom. It's not the best, but it's done. But there's some, again, they've got pictures in them. So they're the ones where I thought, hmm. But they're nice. There's nothing wrong with them at all. Oh, that one's adorable. That's the sort of thing I would do in pencil, you see. So that's 50 wintertime mandalas. Right, then we've got 50 romantic mandala and heart designs. And I think I have actually done the first one, yes. Um, is that the... yes. And again, I've just done this one. This is the first page one with glitter gel pens, and I really quite like it. That was done this year. I do like it. But they're just really nice. See, there's more. There's, that's quite nice. I'll enjoy doing that one. That one's more picturey with some bleeding heart flowers in there. Um, again, that's a nice one. So that's this one. She's put out so many and they are lovely books. I'm not going to lie, they're beautiful. So 50 romantic mandalas and heart designs. So that's the end of the Camellia Angel Cover. Now we move on to the Selena Fennec that I have coloured in. Um, some of these will have one, some of these will, might have more than one. So this is fairy portraits. And that you do get two of each image in this one. And I think that's pretty, the only one I've done, yeah. And I did fairy scribe using various markers and this is uh, metallic paint on the background. As you can see, it's shining. Um, yeah, I enjoyed doing that one. I think we did that one on, on the, um, Cameron, it's the first time I, I did the uh, smudging technique with the glitter pens for the wings. But yeah, I really like her. I think perhaps I should have done her hair a different colour because it kind of disappears into the the light. But I, I like it. It's really nice. Then I have got Festive Magic. Again, I think that's I think I've only done that one. I've only done one in here and that's this one which is the Bauble Fairy. Probably done with Black Widows if I know myself and gel pens. But these are absolutely gorgeous. Some of them are a bit smaller. That's a nice one. Look at that, that's beautiful. I might do that one this year. That's gorgeous too. Absolutely lovely. It's a lovely book, actually, but I do like her style of um, drawing. Uh, we've got Night Magic, which is Gothic and Halloween colouring book. Again, I have only done one in this one, which is... If I can find it. Again, I think it was done with the Black Widows. If it's the one I'm thinking of, it probably was. Yeah, it's this one. This is Come Fly With Me. This is also one of the colouring heaven ones. I think it's in the Witch's Compendium, so that's cool. I can do it again. I think by the time I finished her, I got bored with the sky. <laughs> now, I'd probably just paint it now, even though that was only last year. But yeah, there's some really nice ones in here. That, that one's quite nice. That's beautiful with the unicorn. So, that's stunning. 
So I do really like these. There's that one. That's lovely. Where magic lives and with the cat. There we go. Then we've got a Gothic dark fantasy colouring book. This is one of my favourites. I think I might have done more than one in here. You might get lucky. I might have done more than one. So I'll just have. See, I just think these girls are stunning. Let's quickly flip through it. So yes, this is one of the first ones I did. I think it's one of the first books I bought actually. So this is quite early on when I started colouring, but I haven't dated it. So, um, but I'm sure there's another one in here that was done. Oh, I love that one. I'm gonna have to get that one out and do it. What's this? I'm sure it was this one. Could you get two of them? Maybe it, yes, it was. It was this one, and I just felt thought she looked a bit like Rose McGowan from Charmed. I played Paige, but that's just me. But I gave a different colour to hair, and and this one's called Raven's Call, cool. and I really like this one. I think this is one of my favourites. So yeah, I like that one. Still a few Selena for next. I've got to get. Uh, Enchanted Magical Forests colouring collection. I've only done one in here, but uh, as you can see, these are gorgeous. It's the fantasy. I love the fantasy, as you can see. And I did this one, which is Lilac Magic. Now that would have been done with the Black Widows. I'm thinking, looking at the only thing I could would do different is her hair. I'd be a bit more bold with it. I'd put more layers on it to, to brighten it up a bit. But I, I do like it. It's really nice. Fairy Tales, Princesses and Fables. We did one in here online. As you can see, we've got Hansel and Gretel, Aladdin. There's all sorts in here. Rumpelstiltskin. I like the Sleeping Beauty one, actually. It's gorgeous. And Snow White. Is this the one I've done? Yeah, we did this on camera. It's Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I love that one. I think that looks really good, actually. It's one of the more recent ones. Did it on camera not long back. I really like this one. Next one, still a good stack of books to go, is the Goddess and Mythology colouring book. Now, I know I've done definitely one, maybe two. I love these. That's gorgeous. That's one I've got to do. I did this one, which is Coventina. And so I did her in, in blue, and I did obviously the water in blue, and I, I sort of did it sort of yellow, sandstone coloured, bath stone background because I think as uh, she's a Roman British goddess of Wells and Springs I think you know I was thinking of um, the Roman baths and that's probably sort of what it would have looked like color wise back in the day I just thought wow oh, this is a gorgeous book I, oh, I love goddesses look at that one Serid Seridwen Seridwen Serwen it's a very weird pronunciation I think she's beautiful isn't she Symbol. I just think these are absolutely stunning. Diana, obviously. Lady of the Lake. Gorgeous, that one. Aranhood. Arianhood. It's, it's with the Welsh ones. They're so hard to pronounce, but they're beautiful. Some of those beautiful ones. So, symbolic silver rings. So, when you do it, you know the rings want to be in silver. And there we go. Goddess coming books in the neck. I love it. It's a gorgeous book. We've got Fedorables, Sweet and Simple. Again, I've only done one. This book is gorgeous. Look at that. Cupcake Fairy. Perfect day. She's so cute on her little. These are absolutely so sweet. So the second set of pages I will let Jennifer have definitely. Look at that. When she's a bit older. And I did this one, which was Witchy Friends. And I did this with an acrylic background. Black acrylic background, dobs of paint on it, <laughs> and pencils, and I think that's a watercolour, yeah, or some some cream pen or something. But I think she's really sweet, and at least I tried to do a background. <laughs> I don't always. I still got one more Fennec book to go. Love it. Then we've got Mythical Mermaids. Again, I've only done one. But these are stunning. Look at that. I think I've only done one anyway. I know which one I definitely have done. So this is the second set. Um, and 
was this one which was it's rose or something it's called I can't remember sea of roses um, and I did this one with the Faber Castell classic pencils uh, I used the metallic pencils on her tail and I think it looks really good I'm still really proud of this because I was this was quite early on when I started my colouring so I'm really really proud of it to be honest it, I think it looks really good and I gave her the same sort of metallic scaly lips as well but I think she looks beautiful I love this picture but that's all I've done sadly I do want to do that one and that one they're just so beautiful her art is absolutely stunning so. on to Hannah Lynn and the first one we have is I have the full size books I don't buy the pocket books uh, sweet and simple whimsy girls mermaids and more now there might be more than one in this I know that some of these books I have done more than one not the main books though let's have a look I know I've definitely done one in here I've got to have done at least one it wouldn't be in this pile mm. oh dear lord there is one I did that one now it has marked the other side page slightly yellow because it would have been Everblend markers which is fine and it's marked her chin, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to manage to cover that up. I don't really use the Everblend markers very much anymore. I think that must be it then. I thought I did more than that. Okay, must be the next one then. The next one is Mythical Maidens and Curious Creatures. Oh, I know which one it is. Um, again, Hannah Lynn, you've got to love her, haven't you? Uh, I think this is gorgeous this book I love that one I haven't done it but I'm going to do that one and she does put the two in this book the two pages are together so I don't know which one I've done but obviously oh, here it is oh yes and there's that one and again I've used glitter gel pen on her tail and on various bits throughout some marker I wouldn't like to say which one it is because I don't actually know and that's the only one in there one of my favorite books is Whimsy Girls at Work and I've only done the one page in here but I absolutely love this one I want to do this book signing one um, the librarian obviously because I love books And you do get two copies of each. You get a simple one and a, oh, hang on. a, a more an easy one. That's the easy one on the cafe. And that's the, you know, so they've cut out this bit and they've taken off. I think some of the bottles made them bigger. So oh, and this one, this one I have to do both versions. Uh, but I have done the very first one in here which has probably left yellow marks because yeah there's a little yellow mark there but it's not bad because it was Everblends so I used the Arteza Everblend markers but I used orange acrylic paint on the background and it's just orange that's black marker this is just acrylic here just to make it look a bit more interesting the next one is Whimsy Girls Through the Decades. Again, I've only done one in this one. I think I did this one on camera, the one I did in here. And I do love it. And it's this one, but it's the more complicated version. So I love these. These are just stunning. I want to do this one. I love the 80s. That's cute too. So there's two 80s ones. I really want to do those. That's an 80s one too. Oh, I really like it and I did this one and I did again did it with markers and with some pencil it was probably touch touch five skin I don't know what else but the background is all glitter gel pen um, it's obviously very art deco gold and black is very in keeping either that would have been silver or black but I wanted gold I love this it's one of my favorite pages ever love this book I have done more than one in Enchanted Faces and Fairies and Fantasy. Um, 
I just gotta find them. Stopped recording, I don't know how long you've been missing, but it wouldn't have been long. Uh, so we're on to Sweet and Simple, oh, Enchanted Faces. And I've done this one. I love this book, I think the girls are so cute. That was done with Everblends, so that's why there's yellow everywhere. Here's another one I did. Not sure what markers, possibly the Ohoohoos. I can't even remember doing that one, it's terrible, isn't it? But I do like these ones because they're the big faces. That might be it actually, in which case I want to pull this one and do another one. Yep, that's it, but I really like that book. So you've got lots of really nice, I mean look at that, it's beautiful, easy to do. Big, thick dark lines, they're not as complicated as the more modern ones, but that's how people's art style changes. And that's fine too, I like this one. So yeah, beautiful book. There's a few Hannah Lynn's I'm missing, so we'll have to get them. I have got A Whimsy Girl's Christmas. I think I've done more than one in here. I've actually missed a picture somewhere, haven't I? I have actually missed a picture in one of them. I did one. It might, might be in... Oh, it's in this one, actually. It's, uh, it's in that one. I haven't missed it. I'm just going a bit crazy. So again, you get the two together, which makes it... They're together, so it's a bit easier. I've done one or two in here. I like that one. I can, I've done two, but I can only ever think of, of one. But I know I've done two. I might do that one this year. That's quite a nice one. They're both quite at the front of the book. Well, look at it. I did this one, and this one actually took me two Christmases to do because I sort of started it and then I didn't want to finish it, which is very naughty of me. And I can't remember what pencils I used at all. There is another one in here. I just got to find where it is. There, uh, the girl skater. I enjoyed that one because I love ice skating myself. So for me, that was that was really fun to do. A little bit of green on the trees, but not much. Left them mostly white. A bit of blue shading on there but yeah I like anything that shows ice skating I'm not gonna lie <laughs> that one I've got two more to go on this and then I've got a few uh, well two more Hannah Lynn's and then we're on to some more books there's just too many books fairy tale princesses and storybook darlings I've only done the one in here this is the one I couldn't remember but just so you see these are all together I do want to do the Oz one I always want to do the Oz ones. You get two of each again, but these aren't simpler versions. They are the same ones, though there is a separate simpler book you can get if you wanted to. That one's quite nice. That's not that complicated. But I have only done the one, if I can find it. I thought it was further back than that. Might not be there. Oh, no. Hang on. Hang on. Is it? Oh, it must be further back. Oh. Let me find it for you. It's a lovely book. I uh, did this one, uh, Waiting for Wendy. And there's this, where's the second version of that? Oh, it's there. It's exactly the same. But for some reason I did the second one instead of the first one. Um, yeah, Waiting waiting for Peter, it's called. Waiting for Peter. But that was quite fun to do. Last Hannah Lynn one is Enchanted Halloween. So let's have a look at a Whimsy Girls fantasy kind of look. Uh, I love that witch, witchy, witchy mermaid. I, I can't remember at all which one I've coloured from this. Yeah, and that's another nice, easy, simple face to do. I like those ones. Um, uh, and that one. Oh, I love that one. I'm going to have to do that this year. In fact, I know what colours I'm going to do as well. Again, two of each, which is nice. And, oh, yeah, that's right. We did... Um, She's kind of like little Red Riding Hood in her red outfit. Done with markers. Doesn't look like it was. It must have been Everblend because I didn't have the Oh Who Who's when I did this one. I must have actually left the thing in long enough. <laughs> anyway, it's just a really nice picture. I love it. That's the only one I've done in there. But uh, the problem is, you get so many books and they all bring out new Halloween ones that you just want don't get all the new ones and then your older ones just get forgotten. The next uh, four books are by an artist named Gwen Davies. Uh, she was a friend of Paul's, so Paul got them for me. Um, 
she's a local artist um, I hope she will do more because I do like them so they're quite zen doodly this one is the green lady's cottage garden so you've got the rabbit I'm not sure which one I did I've done one in every one of her books which is the full books you've got the wishing tree a little fairy at the bottom Janice the gardener and I did the green lady um, and I did her completely green uh, I just like this one, it was done with pencils and I don't remember which ones and there's some green glitter glue on there just to give her a bit of sparkle that's the one I've done in there so like I said they're not very long books but they are really sweet the pictures are lovely so I do do like those, I'm glad I've got those uh, the second one is the Green Ladies Zen Mandala Colouring Book Volume 2 um, and they are hand-drawn illustrations. You can find her on Facebook under Gwen Davies Art and Henna. And I did the Zen Mandala. That was back in 2017. That is like four years ago. Butterfly Mandala. Because back then I did occasionally date them when I remembered and I still don't. I don't just don't remember. I mean look at the detail on that. That's amazing. And there. Expanding Mandala. I quite like that the way it expands out like that. One. just because I've got still got a few to get through the green ladies zen mandala colouring book so this is the very first volume again it's all these beautiful mandalas again and I did this one and I just left the background white and again that was in June 2017 I mean they are they are stunning you need fine liners or glitter gels for these to be fair they are very very Fine lines. They're not very thick books, but they're really they're not over expensive either. They're, but they're really nice. And then we got the Green Ladies Zen Henna Coloring Book. As you can see, I, I do like these. So you got different things. That's the Peacock, the Moroccan Hamza. I just did the Cat Moon. I quite like that a little moon and a little cat sitting on it. Some sort of marker. Don't know what. But then you get this is like the one that's on the cover. You get your cat. So, and you got your draw your dreams. So she's put the person there, and you can uh, draw whatever you want up there if you want to. So, for instance, there's the same picture, and this is what she's drawn. But you can put whatever you want up there, or stick whatever you want up there. You don't have to draw it really. I suppose you could put pictures, photographs up there. I like the henna tree, so that's the one I might have to try and do. So that's that one. Next is a uh, creative haven. So I've got, most of these have already had one done in them, I will admit. Day of the Dead, which I bought most likely because I wanted some skulls to do around, you know, the Halloween time. And I've only done one and I did this one, but I really think it's great. It's just so colourful and bright and I like it. And I am going to do some more. I like that one. Because the skeletons, they don't have to be white. You could do the skeletons any colour. I've learned that from watching Tee Town. I, I, I like the ones like this though with the big skulls but I quite like that one which is the, the cover picture of them dancing so I love it that's a nice one and I've got the autumn scenes colouring book again I've only done one in here I know I know and there's the one I've done as you can see this one here with the, the it's the outdoor picnic with the wine glasses I didn't like this when I first did it, but now looking at it, I'm actually quite, I quite like it. I do. Obviously, I did, I did red wine or purple wine so that it would show up rather than white wine, which wouldn't. But these are beautifully done. I will have to do another one. Oh, that's nice. Thanksgiving dinner. Some sort of American football game. Obviously, I'm from the UK. I definitely do the trick or treat one. Happy Halloween! But I do like these um, Creative Haven ones. This one is Teresa Goodridge and the Day of the Dead one was Marty Noble. The next one I've got is the Vintage Christmas Greetings colouring book and I've only done one in this. This is Mar down as Marty Noble as well. So we'll just have a quick look. I think these are adorable and I'm definitely going to do one again this year and I might pick one and do it with markers rather than pencil because this was before I got into the markers. That's a nice one. 
and I did this one of the two little girls, one pulling pull the other in the sled. I just think it's really sweet. It took me a while, but I do like it. And Santa, well, that's a nice one. Sing a song of Christmas, a bag of Christmas toys. <laughs> I do like them. I think these are just so sweet. And the fact that they're like vintage Christmas card style things. I love anything vintage. So for me, this is just beautiful. That's nice. And that one. Best wishes. I probably do Santa stuck in the chimney. The next one again is Entangled Christmas by Angela Porter. I love this. Again, I've only done one in this. But I do really like... Oh, I'm going to do that one this year, I hope. I did this one, as you can see. This is done with gel pens, both glitter, neon, and just the normal colours. Um, it's one I picked. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, there are some... Oh, I love the angel. Absolutely stunning designs in this book. So, Angela Porter's... Oh, brilliant. Um, this one is Flower Mandala's colouring book. This is one I've actually done quite a few in. I know. So I'm going to show you what I've done and then we'll have a look at some of the, the other ones in here. So this is, again, is Marty Noble. The, like I said, the, the, everybody likes it. These are perforated. You can take the pages out. If they started falling out, I would literally just put them straight into a Polly Pockets and uh, A4 binders. Uh, lever arch files so they I've done these and these are done with normal markers and glitter markers I believe that's glitter that's metallic that's uh, various uh, gel pens and pens this is one I like to do obviously I'm doing it in order because I like to do these sorts of things in order so there's this one so I'm pleased because I've actually done quite a lot of these. Not that many. I need to do a lot more. So then there's 30 in here. I don't think I've done even 10 or I'm around 10. 8 to 10. Maybe yeah, I've done a bit more. That's a nice one. It's nice bright, bright colours. And that one. Oh, I've done more than I thought. Ah, oh, that's the last one I've done. So I'm definitely going to have to pull this out and do some more soon because I feel quite proud that I have actually done a fair few in this book. Now back to one that I've only got one done in and that's designer desserts. I don't know why. I love these cakes. Look at them all. These are cool. Oh that's nice. Oh I could eat them now. What is that? And this is the one I've done with the handbags and the shoes on it. it I just I just I was probably into handbags and shoes back then. We were probably actually working in an office. <gasps> Done that for over a year. It's actually going to be nearly two years by the time we actually come back. Quite like that cupcake one. So that's that one. And the last creative paper one I've actually coloured in is Rose Windows. Everybody loves this book, and I am the same because it's grayscale. Markers look fabulous on it. I've got one particular set that's only got like eight colours in it, and I only use six of them because one's a very dark blue and the other one's black. Um, but I've done a few of these as well quite a few of these and I want to get this done so I can do some more and I mean just look at how beautiful these colours are every now and again I'll use the Ohuhu's or the Everblend just so that I can use some different shades but I really like the way oh I can smell the pens on it as well they're very strong smelling pens they were just cheap 2 dollars for a pack of eight from Lidl's yeah that one was the bizarre one because it's just orange and blue and red lips <laughs> hang on another one here but I, I mean, I do love the way that these colours work on these this book. And this book I'm going to keep out because I've been dying to colour in this one for a while because I didn't colour in it last month. That's a nice one. I love that pattern. So they do look all the same colours. So I might pull out um, the other blends and do them with that. But then again, I might not because I do like that set of pens a lot. And I think that might be the last one, is it? I know that one I haven't done. Yeah, that's the last one. That one's actually went through because I forgot to put the paper in it, but that's fine. I should just do yellow and red. I'll sort it. <laughs> but I love that. Now I've got one tiny little stack of books that I've got here that are really small ones. So I'm just going to grab them very quickly. So I've got I Love Rainbows, a very tiny book. I have only done one in here. 
I can find it. Oh, it was the very first page, and it was this one. I was just testing out the Scribblicious brush pens. But just to have a quick look, it's just a little book of rainbows. Great for fine liners or small felt pads, really. They're one sided technically, because although that's a pattern, it's on. It's, it's they're just patterns on the page, so you could use um, your alcohol markers if you've got a fine nib. I've got Relax With Art Pocket Collection. You can't see because they're so tiny. And I've only done this one in here, I think. It's that one. Yeah, it is only that one I've done. I don't buy the pocket collection anymore. I find them too small. I might do if they were a really nice one. This was one of the first books I ever bought. Coloring for, Coloring for Mindfulness Garden. 50 designs to help you de-stress. And I did this one. And again, it's the only one I've done. But I do like that, and I did spot them a bit of, you know, to make it look nice. But these are okay. Uh, these ones, these are the magazine ones, so you only get them while they're out. That's why I'm flipping quick through them. I've got Escape to Shakespeare's World. Now, I have technically got a whip in here because I started doing the globe and I haven't finished it. But that's the sort of thing that I will do when I finish the entire book, which will probably be never. And same with... But I'm not doing this in order, but I have done this double page spread two households both alike in dignity in fair Verona where we lay our scene from Romeo and Juliet so I do like this oh this is the ones I've got to do this is Daggett I see before me I just think their art is beautiful and I do have three of their books I just don't have the Alice one because I am not a big Alice fan but I do have Escape to Oz because Oz is one of my favourite books and films obviously so again these are lovely in the poppies I've only done the title page on this one which is the yellow brick road and I do like it I like it so I'm gonna have to do some more but I do like that one so next we have the last few from this section is we have Christmas Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova. This is a little Christmas colouring book, so this is a small book, so it's not your normal size one. And I think I've only done one in here, and again, I wasn't doing this in order, but I will double check in case there's any more. I will do some this year. Oh, that is stunning. It took me a while, and I do believe I did this one on camera when I find it. Maybe it was the first one I did then. Oh, I have done the first one. I've done that one. But I'm pretty sure there's another one in here, so I'm just going to have a look. So that was just done with gel pens. I must have... Must have been a different book. I must have missed it. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, so that's in that one. Then these are a couple of books that you could get from Lidl's or Aldi's. I think I got mine from Lidl's. This one Paul's mum got me. This is Happiness and Contentment colour in and relax I can't remember what I did but they're like they're very small books with just very little pattern pictures on them and I don't know what I've done in this one but I must have done something because it's in this pile where is it it's going to take me a while to find it now isn't it oh dear me I can't find it. Oh, there it is. I did just did this one of the, the pretty flowers. It's really quite nice. I like this one. So there's that one. That's, you know, not my best, but it's a nice little book just for having a go in. And they actually stand up as well. They stand up like that. I don't know why, but they do. You could turn them into a calendar, I suppose. And I've got I've got three. One of them you would have seen in the um, uncoloured pages, uh, which is the ocean one. And I've got Flower Dreams. Well, I've done the first one on this one. So again, this is mostly flowers. And I did the first one, which is the cover. And I think I did that with the Marco Ruffines, which I've lent to my mother. Was it my Marcos I've lent her? Yes, the Marcos I've lent her. Um, but yeah, they're just pretty flowers like that. Patterns, so you can use gel pens in them, pencils felt tips whatever you fancy really quite fine tips so 
so that's that one and the last book in this video and it's good because it's been going on for 50 minutes it's quite a long one I've still got two more to do because I've got a full shelf of books next so I'm going to split that into two videos of course 300 mandalas by Sally Berry this is one that everybody seems to love that one, so as you can see, again this is one I want to pull out this month and do, oh, that's such a nice simple one isn't it, I won't take long, I like them like that, so I'm just going to show you the ones I've done because this is one I colour in quite a bit, because um, I do find this quite relaxing, I took this one on holiday with me, let me just, uh... so I haven't done that page obviously, I will do all those like I said when I get to, to near the end of the book, because then I can say I've completed it. So I've done this one. Again, mostly glitter gel pens in here. That one. That's quite a nice one. Not sure what markers they were, but they look very nice. Might have probably been some cheap markers from somewhere. That's glitter gel. And that's just a bright marker. I've actually missed a bit there with the blue. Doesn't matter. That was pastel markers. I know which set that was as well. Got those from what for 89p. More glitter gels. This was one I did when I was on holiday in June. And that was the glitter gel pens that I and the matte gel pens I got from a magazine. And then I did that one as well when I was on holiday. And I did that one while I was on holiday, and I think that's probably it yeah and that's it so those are all the books i'm doing in this video i hope you've enjoyed this is anybody keeping score on how many i've got because i'm not um i have actually missed another two but i'll put those into the next another one no another two but i'll put those in the next video at the beginning um <laughs> see what i mean there's just too many of them if you want to see me colour in any of the books I've shown you today, leave me a comment down below. I will be happy to pull it out and colour in it. It gives me a good excuse to colour in the said book. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's not enabling you too much to go out and want to spend all your money on more colouring books because I know what that's like. And I will see you in part seven very, very soon. Bye, everyone.